Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a small banner for the 2042 update that is already out for all platforms. Going to be going over the patch notes regarding that. We'll also be covering the new event that is coming out on the 28th of May, which is a bit like Search and Destroy from Call of Duty. Now, don't let that throw you off because this is essentially just going to be a quote-unquote competitive mode that they're going to feature in an event. And I do think, for an event at least, this will be a fairly cool thing to have in Battlefield 2042. On top of all that, apparently EA has done yet another EA anti-cheat ban wave for Battlefield 2042, and apparently EA have identified the issue of users experiencing extremely high memory usage in Battlefield 2042, and they're going to be releasing a fix sometime next week for this. So that's a lot of stuff to go over. If you enjoy the channel, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, especially if you plan on watching X Defiant content. With Battlefield 2042 winding down and there essentially being absolutely nothing to talk about with this game anymore, I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more FPS games. So if you're a fan of FPS games, consider subscribing. I also stream every single day on both YouTube and Twitch. Turn the notifications on or follow me on Twitter to know when I go live. And just a quick shout out to all of you. Yesterday, I think we hit over 800 combined viewers on Twitch and YouTube for the X Defiant streams. So you guys are just insane, and I appreciate all of you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the change log for this update that is already available for download in Battlefield 2042. The first thing it fixed is they fixed an issue that allowed McKay to get out of bounds on Redacted. If you guys remember when Redacted released, people would consistently get out of bounds and go under the map, and apparently there was still a bug left in the game, which allowed McKay to do that, but on the upper portion of the map, above the domes. They also adjusted jet spawns on Kaleidoscope to ensure a safer flight path entry into the map, and they resolved an issue allowing the penguins to use scope attachments on weapons, such as the SWS-10 on Battlefield Portal servers, while this functionality was disabled. I'm just going to be honest, guys, this is a whole lot of nothing. The most important change in this update is definitely the fact that they fixed the class distribution indicators on the deployment screen, which allow you to see how many people are playing each class in the game. Hopefully this will prevent people from picking recon and then sitting in the back of the map, sniping as Casper, but I don't really think that'll do anything. Moving on to the limited time event called Future Strike. I believe this might be the final brand new event to Battlefield 2042 that will ever be added into the game. It releases on May 28th, so as of this video releasing, we got about five days. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm kind of excited to play this game mode. I know, like, hold on to your frickin' horses, guys. What is Ender saying? He's excited? for a Battlefield 2042 mode? Well, let me explain what the mode is, right? It's gonna feature 4v4 and 8v8 configurations, it's squad-based, and it is a single elimination game mode, which means you load in, a round starts, you have one life, and then you die until the next round starts. It's kind of like Counter-Strike or Search and Destroy, uh, if that helps you understand what type of game mode this is. A cool feature of this game mode is if you do die during a round, you actually redeploy as a Casper drone on death to give information to your teammates about where the other enemy players are. So even when you die, you still serve a pretty essential role in the gameplay, especially considering the fact that you'll most likely be spotting them as well. Now, the first team to win six rounds wins the entire match, and in order to win the match, you obviously have to capture the objective or eliminate the entire enemy team in order to win a round. One thing that I wish we had more information on is I want to know if you have to sort of select what equipment you bring into the round. Sort of like Counter-Strike with the buy system. You know, am I going to buy uh, armor? Am I going to buy a Desert Eagle or an AWP or something? Can you just bring in whatever you can in this mode? You probably can, and that's probably how they designed it. But I do think that if they went, you know, the extra mile and sort of made you think about what you have to equip in order to play this game mode, I thought that would have added some extra depth and some extra oomph. As with every single event in Battlefield 2042, this event allows you to unlock some free things just for playing it, and of course, DICE attaches a bunch of paid bundles to it uh, because they can't resist. 
The things that you can unlock for free are a RAH-68 Huron vehicle skin, a Rao skin, and a player card along with a weapon charm, so all pretty standard stuff. It is worth noting that this game mode is actually going to be playable on 11 different maps, including Noshar Canals and Erica Harbor, and potentially other different portal maps. So they did go above and beyond in the versatility of the map selection, which they don't always do in these events. Typically, it's like, I don't know, three, four, maybe five maps. This time it's 11. So if that event sounds interesting to you, you'll be able to play it starting May 28th, leading into June. And just a friendly reminder, if you find this content informative at all, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and drop by the streams because I might be streaming as you're listening to this video right now. Moving on to a bit of a short subject, but EA has apparently done another ban wave in Battlefield 2042 via EA Anti-Cheat, and I guess let's just hope it banned a bunch of scumbag cheaters. To be honest, I can still count the amount of blatant aimbotters or cheaters I've seen on my two hands in Battlefield 2042 in the over two years that I have experienced this unfortunate video game. So that's something to write home about, you know, that's great, but hey, I'm all for banning cheaters. As for the rest of this video, I'm pretty much just going to dedicate this to the dedicated community that we have on this YouTube channel. Thank you guys for that. I know you guys want to know a bunch of stuff about when the final 2042 update video is going to come about and when the second channel is going to happen. So let me give you guys some info on that. I am working on the official Battlefield 2042 review video. I still don't know when it's going to be out, but everything is coming along well, and it's probably going to be somewhere between like 15 or 20 minutes long. Not going to be some two-hour magnum opus with like, you know, $500 per hour editing. Because, I've stated this before, the game just doesn't deserve it. I think you can pretty much summarize Battlefield 2042 very well, uh, and actually very accurately within about 15 or 20 minutes. And in terms of the second channel that focuses more around my personal interests, there's a thing you gotta understand with YouTube, okay? I can't just make a second channel and just start posting videos. You either do YouTube the right way, which is the prepared way, or you don't YouTube, do YouTube at all. And unfortunately, I have had some trouble getting some things ready for the second channel. For instance, I'm trying to have some channel art made, and finding an artist that isn't like a complete scammer nowadays is honestly difficult, because, I mean, let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, you've all gotten those Discord DMs that's like, Hi, I'm an artist! It's like, great, send me the scam link. So I need to have all of those, you know, channel intros and outros and graphics and all that sort of stuff made. I also need to make sure that my recording quality is, you know, up to my standards. If I do a, a sort of IRL-based channel, I want 4K recording quality at a bare minimum. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's what you have to do to compete with the other channels on YouTube that are doing the similar content. And, you know, that's what I would want for my channel as well. So for that, I'm going to have to buy some sort of camera equipment, doing my research on that. Probably going to buy that within the next two weeks or so. Maybe I'll try to find some deals. So that's my update on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're excited for the uh, Battlefield 2042 event. I think it's pretty cool. I know there's going to be some people and they're like, Oh, this is, this is COD. Uh, Battlefield's not competitive. Well, you know, my suggestion to you is why don't you shut up and try it first. And then, you know, you can complain later if you don't like it. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you stayed till this portion, you are a true OG, and I will kiss you on the forehead. There is no stopping me, so don't even try to run away. I will see you in the next video.